Hey guys, Joel here, Grey Wolf TV, and we are back with another episode of Stranger Things. This is going to be episode 5. So, quick little recap. Episode 4, we last watched. We now know Will's not dead. We know the body is fake. The sheriff now knows the body is fake. He went and examined it himself. Uh, Will's brother and the girl, uh, whilst trying to figure out what's happened to Barbara, has also uncovered this monster whatever you want to call it so they know that will's not dead as well all the kids know l knows pretty much everyone knows something is afoot as they would say so um i'm expecting in this episode for it to push forward with that now and them trying to investigate further and try and figure out exactly where the hell will is we believe it may be another dimension power universe i'm i'm erring on the side of another dimension with it being a creature that's in there that's clearly learned a way to be able to break into our universe somehow probably thanks to the government guys right guys this is episode five okay come on hopper don't get caught because we need more we need more info <laughs> That's the look of screw it. Damn. Need a key card. Enter. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You forgot all the cameras, bud? Look, Dr. Brenner asked for me specifically. Chief Jim Hopper. Yeah, I've got Jim Hopper here. Yeah, knew that was coming. <laughs> How stupid are you? Hey. Can I borrow this one? They're saying his body is fake. He's in the wall. I mean, how do you explain that? You've not been around to know. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. That elves. Yeah, it is. Papa, yeah. Cold. Yeah. Wait, did he say cold? I don't know. The stupid radio kept going in and out. When Elle showed us where Will was, she put the board over. Remember? Oh, yeah. Upside down. She flipped it. Dark. Empty. Do you understand what he's talking about? What if we just couldn't see it? Kids got it. What if he was on the other side? What if this is Hawkins and this is where Will is? The upside down. The Veil of Shadows is a dimension that is a dark reflection or echo of our world. Thank you. Called it. It is a place of decay and death. It is right next to you and you don't even see it. Ooh, oh. that gives me chills him saying that. <laughs> well. He's right. It's a new dimension. Correct. But how do we get there? She can. Maybe she can. Oh, crap. Don't go in there. No. From us, someone so young, so innocent. It would be easy to turn away from God. But we must remember that nothing, not even tragedy, can surround Will. Let's wait till we tell Will that Jennifer Haynes was crying at his funeral. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, very smart. Just dumping back home. Dosed. Well done, sir. She was there. I mean, it's all within a mile or something. It's not going far. Whatever this thing is, it's, it's not traveling far. I found something. We kill it. We have some questions. A lot of questions. 
there are parallel universes. Yeah. Just like our world, but just infinite variations of it. You'd have to create a massive amount of energy, more than humans are currently capable of creating, mind you, to mm. open up some kind of tear in time and space. And then... Fold and throw. You create a doorway. Oh, for Christ's sake. He's after a payout. Kick him out. You weren't here because of Will. You never cared about him. You never did. Jesus, Joyce. It was his funeral today. Do we have to do this right now? Pay for Jonathan to go to school. What a scumbag. Don't do that. Do what? Lie to me. Uh huh? What? Where does Jonathan want to go to college? We get that money anywhere he damn well pleases. NYU, Lonnie. Watch this, should be a better shot than he is. Screw that. Knew it. I just knew it. Ah, uh, a sensory deprivation tank. So she can clear all thoughts. Focus. I am gonna murder. He knows. He's going to tell. Light. Oh Jesus. No, I have to be like a super magnet. A super <sighs> magnet. Huh. She's been acting weirder than normal. If she could slam doors in her mind, she could definitely screw up a compass. Why would she do that? Because she's trying to sabotage our mission. Because she's a traitor. You don't want us to find Will. She doesn't she want to go us. back. Just leave her alone. It's, it's not... It's not safe. Should be okay, honey. You haven't found anything. I can't guarantee it, but it should be okay. What the hell is going on, Hopper? They bugged my place. <sighs> it's because I'm on to them and they know it. Will's body was a fake. Yeah. You were right. You were right. She knows where Will is. And now she's just letting him die in the upside down. Shut up! For all we know, it's her fault. Shut up! We're looking for some stupid monster. But did you ever stop to think that maybe she's the monster? Oh. Knock it off, you idiot! Stop it! Mike, get off! Stop it! Oh, shit! Jesus! Lucas! Lucas! Lucas, are you alright? She killed him! Lucas. Lucas, come on! Lucas, wake up! Come on, Lucas! Lucas! Why would you do that? Come on! Come on What's wrong with you? Oh, what is my. wrong with you? Why are you in there you go. Total sensory deprivation. Russian. Wow, that's clever. What just happened? I have no idea. It's that thing in there. Oh, she just knocked him out. Thank God for that. Get off of me. Oh, he's pissed. Just go on. Let him go. Where's Elle? Oh, no, now she's done a runner. Help! This is all going wrong. Help! What, you tired? Shut up. Uh oh. What? That's an animal. Oh, God. Oh. We can't just leave it. No, you got to put it out of his misery. I'll do it. <laughs> Bastard.
bastard. <laughs> I better be jump. That's not the gate, is it? So it's it's still the forest. Shit. Wrong. Yeah. Back up slowly. Nancy! Oh no, he won't know where she is. Nancy! He's not spotted it. Oh my god, it's closing! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Alright, okay. We'll start with the end. She's found the gate. Or a gate. Maybe it can open a gate into our world. Now it's figured out how to do it. Wherever it wants. Unless that was the gate the boys were trying to find with the compasses. But L was leading them off. No way I've known that yet. But she's in there now. He has no clue where she's just vanished to. She was just stood behind a tree in the next minute. Gone. Is she going to be able to figure out her way back out there? So that's what they mean by it's dark and it's cold and it's... Um, everything's all corroded and because it's another dimension. Elle's powers... You can see from what it showed there, um, they put her in an isolation tank, which is basically a sensory deprivation tank, uh, to be able for her to block out the entire outside world and all of her thoughts, to be able to focus on that guy they wanted to eavesdrop on, that Russian guy. But in the midst of doing so, we kind of heard the creature in there. Now, why would the creature be in where she is with her mind? Hmm. Has she created the creature by doing this? Is this where the creature lives? Has she stumbled upon it by using her powers? She stumbled upon this other dimension. That's how she's able to use her powers, maybe. Hmm. This show's brilliant. I'm loving it. At least now the sheriff has had a chance to go back to Will's mom and go. Let me make sure there's no listening devices. And then he's told her, you were right all along. He ain't dead. I've been in checked in the morgue. The bodies are fake. They're on to me. They know that I know. And very clever that the agency didn't just... It would have been very easy for them then to just go, we've caught the sheriff, get rid of him, kill him. But that would ask more questions in the local town. It's much easier to <clears throat> drug him, place him back in his apartment, book the place exactly what they did to one make him paranoid and two to let him know that they know that he knows if that's not getting too complicated uh, and basically to silence him because no one else is going to believe the sheriff if he starts talking like how Will's mum does so it's basically to discredit him very smart that's that's the x-files way that's the way they would do it that's the way cancer man the original cancer man would do it pop him back don't kill him 
is far more useful alive than he is dead. Um, Will just doing that because they started a fight has just split the pack. He stormed off. L's run off. And now he doesn't know whether to trust Elle because she led them astray because all she's actually trying to do is keep them safe. She knows how dangerous this actually is. And they're not equipped to deal with it on their own. Three young lads and her. Damn. I have no idea how the hell they're going to get out of this. First of all, she needs to figure out a way back out of that tree, back into our world. Or maybe, maybe she doesn't. Maybe she's going to go missing too. I don't know. Uh, I like that they went and asked their science teacher about the upside down. And he's basically saying, yeah, it's possible, like in Dungeons and Dragons, but it's all theoretical. You need a tremendous amount of energy to be able to do it and punch your way through and create a gate. And I think that is exactly what either the government lab has done or what the government lab, lab has done in conjunction with getting L to perform these tasks. Or been about both. This, this is just a theory. This is just a supposition of mine right now. I may be right, I may be wrong. Time will tell. That was a good episode. Again, that was a really good episode. That's two back to back. Very, very good. They've moved the story on quite well. Um, I think there's another three, four episodes to the end of this season. So obviously they're having to progress the story now, but they've moved it forward really well. Um, what else? The ex-husband is just after a payout. Her finding that in his wallet, saying lost a, a, a loved one or family member, and to claim off the quarry for him dying down there. Health and safety and all that crap, which that's basically, which is basically back in the eighties, almost non-existent. But still, that's what he was there for. Couldn't care less. Doesn't even know which college the elder son wants to go to. He just sidetracked that question and said oh any school he wants because you don't actually know because you've paid no interest in your family right guys that was the flea and the acrobat episode five let me know what you think down in the comments or what you, th you think whether i'm right about my theory or not a lot of you guys obviously may have already seen this i have not some minor just theories for the time being i may be right may be wrong um like share and subscribe guys and don't forget if you do want to watch this full episode you can watch it over on my patreon there are several tiers that are available on the patreon but um if you take a look over there you can see what's available to you and you can watch the full hour episodes completely uninterrupted so link for my patreon is down in the description uh and i think that's about it guys we'll be back with episode six in the next few days until then I shall say goodbye and I'll see you all in the next one.